this video is uh, dedicated to study net reproduction rate in my earlier video we have discussed grass reproduction rates let us understand the basic difference between these two that is the difference between GRR and NRR GRR is calculated by considering the number of female births occurring to a woman during her childbearing age on the other hand net reproduction rate is calculated by considering the mortality rates also the opposite for mortality rates is survival rate the meaning of mortality rate is number of deaths happening and opposite to deaths is survival so we can use this alternatively now NRR is the average number of females that would be born to a female or a woman if she survives up to the age of childbearing and 15 to 49 years age in our ego kuda on the mahile yes to hennu makkali ge janma kodabo hudu a makkalu childbearing age or go kuda survival aktara survival agila andre there is no question of uh, future population on magu hutti on the erad varshuko mur varshuko aid varshuko hat varshuko tir kon butra you cannot say that the population will increase in future because of her therefore consideration of survival ratio is also very very important once again let's see the definition of net reproduction rate that is nrr the average number of daughters would be born to a female we are talking about daughters not sons that means only female babies if she passed through her lifetime to the age specific fertility and mortality rates in a year we are calculating this rates for a year here age specific fertility rate means from 15 to 49 any rate a one period or go kuda survival aktala along with mortality that is death rates opposite to death we are going to consider survival here now while calculating nrr you have to remember one point very clearly if the nrr per woman this is very important we will calculate two type of uh, nrrs total nrr total net reproduction rate and net reproduction rate per woman even in grr case also we calculated first one the grr calculate marthi we will get one answer that answer will be divided by thousand to get grr per woman so here also you will calculate total nrr and if we divide the answer by thousand you will get net reproduction rate per woman so if the nrr per woman is exactly one it indicates that the population will be constant there is no increase the population will be constant once again if the nrr per woman is exactly one not more than one or less than one it is exactly equal to one that means the population is not going to increase or decrease it will be stable it will be constant on the other hand if the nrr per woman is below one if the nrr per woman is below one it indicates the population is decreasing if the nrr per woman is below one the population is decreasing and if the nrr per woman is more than one if the nrr per woman is more than one the population is having a tendency to increase let us sum up this in canada net reproduction rate per woman exactly one did the exactly one did the if it is equal to one you have to assume that the population will be constant no increase no decrease it will be constant and nrr enadru ondakkinta kadime idre population decrease aagtide anta artha maadkobeku nrr enadru ondakkinta hechge idre population increase aagtide anta artha maadkobeku if the nrr per woman is equal to one population is constant 
if the nrr per woman is decreasing if the nrr per woman is less than 1 population is decreasing if the nrr per woman is more than 1 population is increasing this is very important to note and in questions while answering you should be making a comment on the nrr position also now what is the formula used to calculate this nrr it is exactly the same formula which i suggested you for gross reproduction rate with a small change we use a survival rate here nodi grr equals to i into summation of women specific fertility rate between 15 and 49 years so illi varugu nimge enagutte grr formula this is grr formula and if you multiply that with s s is nothing but survival ratio or survival rates so grr gu nrr gu formula dalli ro difference ni observe madidare grr ge ee survival rate annod irodilla nrr ge we are multiplying the answer with s that is survival rate now and i is the width of the class that is magnitude of the class it will be always 5 because we are following quinquennial age groups therefore adu 5 irutte and women specific fertility rate as usual now grr maduvaga en madidu exactly the same women specific fertility rate is nothing but female births divided by female population for that particular age for each particular age group you calculate separately hence female births in that particular age divided by female population of that particular age into 1000 you will get wsfr that's the wsfr equation you know this now we will proceed to an example to calculate net reproduction rate net reproduction rate now see here calculate net reproduction rate from the data given below you have age group female population female births and one extra column is given this information will be supplied to you in the question itself ee survival rates annodanna nimage question alle kodtare you need not struggle for that just use it and apply in the formula so to solve this question see what are all the things given in the question age group so we are uh, very much uh, comfortable with this 15 to 19 20 24 exactly same ide so 15 in the 49 vargu kottidare that is the child bearing age so and each age population is given separately female births are given survival rates are given now let's solve this question now the first three columns take it as it is from the question that is age group female population female births question alle enidiyo as it is simply just copy it and in the fourth column calculate the women specific fertility rate women specific fertility rate is calculated by using the formula female births by female population into 1000 in the first case for example 15 to 19 years wsfr yavriti calculate martivi nodi the female births is 50 divided by female population is 3000 into 1000 if you calculate this you will get 16.66 please keep your calculators ready and keep your books ready just calculate these figures and make a note so that you can understand the calculations here now in every case in the case of age group of 20 to 24 years in madabaku female births divided by female population that is 400 divided by 2500 into 1000 you will be getting 160 so prati ondu age group gu ade riti calculate martha banni female births divided by female population into 1000 so calculate martha ondaga you will get the wsfrs once the wsfrs are calculated you add one more column in your solution table that is survival rates and this survival rates is available in your question itself it is given in the question last screen al now nodudvi nodi age group female population female births jothege survival rates annu kuda namge question al kottirtare exactly take it from the question and put it in your answer survival rates anna barkoli 
now the last column is you multiply the women specific fertility rates with survival rates in this fourth column see you have calculated women specific fertility rates and you multiply this with the survival rates that is 16.66 into 0.9 you are getting 14.99 just multiply these two columns women specific fertility rate into survival rates adanna multiply maadkolta bandre the right. answers 14.99144109.08402666616 and 5.8 once you calculated all these figures just total that total that so total madadaga namge en barutte wsfr anna survival rate jothe multiply maadi add maadidivi that means summation of women specific fertility rate into survival rate so this particular part we got here this particular part we got here now when you apply the net reproduction rate formula now en madbeku i that is the magnitude of the class so 5 irutte anta helin that's it will be constant 5 in all the problems put the 5 into summation of wsfr into s yes. bring that 356.56 here and just multiply it your net reproduction rate will be 1782.8 this is total net reproduction rate now you are going to calculate one more rate that is net reproduction rate per woman so il bandiruvanta net reproduction rate ana this is net reproduction rate divide that net reproduction rate by 1000 because you have calculated for 1000 women only all the population rates are calculated for 1000 women so whenever you need to calculate per woman you should divide it by 1000 so when you divide it by 1000 you are getting 1.7828 female births per woman so as i have already told you if the net reproduction rate per woman is more than 1 population is increasing so you have to write a comment since the rate is greater than 1 the population is increasing this comment is very important in every problem at the final you have to write this you have to compare the nrr per woman if it is equal to 1 or less than or more than depending upon the situation you have to write the comment right i hope you are doing this we'll we'll take one more example and see how you can take this and i want you to do this sum yourself on books now just uh, i'll go through the question and leave the calculation part for you calculate net reproduction rate from the data given below again what are all the things given in the question age group is given female population is given female births are given and survival rates are given so en madbeku going to the solution first three columns you can write as it is after the first three columns from question from question there is also from question wsfr you need to calculate calculation of wsfr nimu gottide births of a particular that is female births of a particular population divided by population in that age group into 1000 common formula for wsfr see in the case of 15 to 19 20 divided by 1600 into 1000 you will be getting 12.50 then for the age group of 20 to 24 female births are 30 divided by 1700 into 1000 you will get 17.64 then 100 divided by 1800 into 1000 55.55 so calculate all the wsfrs then take the survival rates from the question itself nama question alle kottirtare ee survival rates anna adanna as it is make a note then final column multiply the wsfr with survival rates wsfr column should be multiplied with survival rates so like in the first case 12.50 into 0.969 you are getting 12.1125 
and 17.64 into 0 0.966 17.0 so so do the calculations yourself multiply all the WSFR age wise into its survival rates after writing them finally total it you are getting 152.7317 so that is summation of women specific fertility rate into survival rates apply the NRR equation here I into summation of WSFR into S. Summation of WSFR is, is already done here. Now just bring that answer and multiply with 5. Just bring that answer and multiply with 5. So you are getting 763.6585. This is the NRR, total NRR. And proceed with calculation of NRR per woman. NRR per woman, NRR is divided by thousand so you are getting 0 0.7636 and when you compare it is less than one since this rate is less than one the population is decreasing last example we have seen it is more than one so when it is more than one the population should be increasing if it is less than one the population should be decreasing so i want you to watch this video repeatedly and work out the problems Check the calculations yourself so that you can learn. So, thank you. That's enough for this video.